we can have some ushers, we'll take up an offering. <laughs> Come on, fellas. They're still praising God. That's all right. Amen. Amen. Uh, Father, thank you that because of Jesus Christ, because of his life, his death, his resurrection, and the assurance that he's coming again, we can have peace in our hearts and know that it is well with our souls. And Father, I pray that each and every person in this building this morning is in that place of being able to say, it is well with my soul. And Father, if there's one here today that does not know Jesus as Lord and Savior, Father, I pray that today, today will be the day of their salvation. Today will be the day when they can walk out of here and say, it is well with my soul. Lord, if there's one here today that's not at peace for whatever reason, Father, I pray that today they'll be able to settle that thing in their heart and be able to walk out of here and say, it is well with my soul. Father, thank you for your love for us, for your forgiveness for us, for your walking with us day by day. Father, thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We worship you this day. For truly, this is the day that you've given us to love you and to worship you. Father, thank you for this time in our service when we can continue in worship through our giving. And Lord, we just ask you to be with us in the remainder of this service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
There's nothing more powerful in this world than the name of our God, the name of our Jesus. So if you, uh, if you know this song, I welcome you to please sing along and help me out. Well, God's in the house, amen. amen. <laughs> he just showed up. <laughs> praise God, amen. This is a wonderful, wonderful time to praise the Lord. And, and I hope you came hungry this morning. My desire in my heart is to feed you this morning. So I want to fill your plate this morning by the help of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. Let's turn in our Bibles to the book of Romans chapter 10. One of the most powerful, powerful chapters in the entire Word of God is Romans chapter 10 uh, because it deals with something that uh, this world desperately needs and that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we want, we want to look at this and what a powerful truth is in it. May God lead us into that truth today in a, a fresh new way. Romans chapter 10 verse 1, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record and witness that they all have a zeal of God for God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God. 
For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Hallelujah. For Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does those things is bound and determined to live by them. And I would add without fault and without failure. And that's not possible. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven? That is, to bring Christ down from above. Or who will ascend to heaven, and that is, to bring Christ down from above? Or who will descend?